Copain on the baseline. No whistle there. Straight on Evans. Yes, and he'll make 39% beyond the three point line. Adams, who's been playing on a tender ankle. The towel got a great look. Nothing but net. He's slamming on the brakes. Long jumper, and that one swished in by Copain. He's also a very good passer and picked off by Cumberland. He'll attack and lay it in. Step in the passing lane. I mean, he, he was sitting there the whole time. You're just waiting on that. Really bad pass. Here's Purvis trying to get going, and that's the way to do it with a three pointer. Let's see if he becomes the go to man. Vital, yes, that's a nice touch by the freshman out of Queens Village, New York. Here on what is effectively a home court, of course. Adams, nice speed. Vital, he finishes. Adams, quick step off the window for two. That was smooth. Tip and another whistle, another foul. And that's huge. That, I believe, is the third foul on Jalen Adams. This team, no different. But this is a Cincinnati team that can score, as that one is swished in by Moore with a sweet touch. The other loss is Butler, SMU, and UCF. Jumping inside Clark, lots of contact. He banks it in. He'll be at the line. If you remember, Yale was the top 12 last year. They ended up in Providence instead of some other place. Cumberland lifting a three. Got it. Copain gets himself an open look and sticks it. Clark beyond the three. Jumping in the lane. Watch that shot. Some ugly shots by UConn. On the run, Cumberland will lay it in. Well, a big time move by the 6'5 freshman. Being a lot to handle. All rookie team, co six man of the year. How about the ability to handle at that size? Crosses the defender and then against the challenge. Yeah, it's a little bit different than other Bearcat teams. Nice fake, and he made it facey, drawing the foul. He'll be at the line. Vital. Right through, spins it up and scores. Rebound comes out high, boxed around and taken in by Purvis. Shocked like a two, has to heave it. He banks it in from three point land. You gotta be kidding me. Adams, he can get cooking. Shot like a 10. Airborne hits Purvis again. Yes, he hits a three. Now Purvis back to back threes. The one was under duress of a shot clock. The challenge a little easier because Purvis needed to take an extra dribble. Clark on the back down to the paint to his right. And he got hit. He'll be at the line. Vital back to Adams. He is dying to be a factor in this game. Nice reverse. Oh man, that's just beautiful basketball. So who do the Huskies turn to? Will it be Adams? Yes. Adams has scored the last eight points for the Huskies. Copain, yes! Big, big three, that was on cue. Had been a while, but well, watch him make the three. Where's my mom, Renee? Looking for another one here, yes! On target, Jacob Evans. Copain collapses the defense, the pitch to the other side of the floor. It's a lot of a lot of long drives, I'll tell you that. Adams again. That time got it to go and one. Cincinnati sitting on an eight-point lead. Evans running some clock here. That's a smart move. Cincinnati looking at the 29th win. He fires. That's as smooth as it gets. These will be the 59th and 60th free throws of this semifinal. So SMU, the outright champ, advancing to the championship game of the tournament. And Copain drops in the first one. Ten seconds to go. And Cincinnati really won this at the foul line. Again, 28 foul shots made. In that second half, 28 for 31, and Cincinnati moves on to the championship game, 81 to 71, the final.